Hi, Paul Wilkinson here. This is vlog two talking about my symphony. So I've started to put quite a bit more of this into the score and I thought I'd share with you today some of the little things I've been working on. So over the last few weeks a little theme has started to, uh, to appear um, which you can see up here if you can see on the mouse here just in uh, in the flutes there. So we've got this little little melody here which I can just play for you now. to bear with the computer program it's not an orchestra um, I, I write by hand first and then put into uh, Sibelius uh, which is a scoring program but it's great for hearing things and seeing what's possible um, there are many pitfalls <coughs> to using such a scoring program as I try and say to my students you know certain balances sound great on these kind of computer programs and vice versa certain balances sound terrible but will work absolutely fabulously in the orchestra so so around this section here I'm, I'm, I'm a few minutes in this uh, this this idea started to come to me, which is just up the top there, and you can see it there. We've got uh, those semiquavers uh, triplets in the flutes, and below doubled up in oboes. So then I've been working around this section here. Uh, this is the section that you can see in front of you where it goes into uh, three four and four four. So I'll just zoom in a little so you can see this. So here you can see. I've started to pass this idea around amongst the woodwind and then further on in the brass. Zooming out a bit so you can you can see some of that. So there we go. So you can see that that idea has kind of passed across. I've been working on some string uh, parts below as well. Kind of hovering on a G pedal that's sort of quoting a kind of um, a sharp five there. So uh, I'm rather pleased with this section which comes out of that. Uh, and as I say, I've been passing these ideas around. This is where I like to do developer themes. So this is, I'm, I'm playing with a couple of themes here. We've got these triplet themes here. And also I'm bringing in another theme in the bassoons down here. So if you look down there where my mouse currently is, there we have, there you can see it. Then we have that bassoon, which I'm working with as another theme as well, which I'll possibly develop. This is what's great about vlogging. I actually don't know where I'm going with it, of course. So you, you're joining in on the journey with me as I try and try and make some sense for this. Let's zoom it out a bit. And uh, just before I finish today, I'll just play what that sounds like. Although, as I say, I must stress, it's not sounding uh, so great on these kind of kind of instruments. So I'm going to go from where those uh, triplets just come in out of a kind of tooty section where the brass and strings have been. I'll just put a bit of volume up. So. Right, I'll play this for you now so you can have a listen to it. And then thanks for following this vlog, really much appreciated. So this week I'll be trying to develop this, uh, the thematic material of this to tie it all together. So we've got to have a quick listen. Apologies for all the brass sounds that don't sound so great and things, but I don't use this as a tool for that. I sort of ride in my head first, but this is a way for you to hear it. And I do this so that then it's much quicker to get the parts ready for orchestra. So here we go. to the unknown thanks for watching this vlog please uh, subscribe for more of these updates about my second symphony very much appreciated that's been of interest for some of you out there thanks for watching bye bye for now